it's one of those things that you don't really realize how important it is till you don't have it. For the first time in more than 20 years, Terrence Flowers is casting his vote in an election. It's an amazing feeling being able to vote. Flowers didn't have that right for 10 years. He served two years in prison, then eight years on probation. He says he's finally off paper and is eligible to vote. I feel like my vote matters. <laughs> it does. Off paper is just a non-traditional way of saying off probation. According to Georgia state law, once a convicted felon is no longer serving a sentence off probation and parole and has paid all fees, they are considered off paper, which restores their voting rights. It's hard as a black man when you clean as a whistle with no charge and no felonies, but it is 10 times harder when you have a record. So just being off probation and starting the process to get my rights back, it, it really means a lot to me. Tonza Thomas is a part of the Columbus, Georgia based organization Ground Game that's helping people register to vote. Voter suppression all over again and second chances should not be included in voter suppression. She says there's usually some confusion surrounding whether felons can vote when they're released from prison. Department of Corrections, when they are releasing folk, they don't give them a simple piece of paper to say, um, this is the remainder of your time and this is how much you have to pay in restitution and fees. Those fees can include fines, court costs, and probation or parole fees that are attached to convictions. If our black men knew that they could register and vote, we would take on Georgia and we would take it over. A look at some numbers now by the state. In 21 states, such as Georgia, Texas, and North Carolina, felons lose their voting rights while incarcerated on parole and or on probation. Those rights later can be restored, some automatically, with the payment of fines and fees required in some cases. In the District of Columbia, Maine, and Vermont, felons never lose their right to vote, even while behind bars. In 16 states, including Indiana, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, felons lose their voting rights while incarcerated and at release receive automatic restoration. In 11 states, such as Mississippi, Florida, and Alabama, felons lose their voting rights indefinitely for some crimes. They may need a governor's pardon for voting rights to be restored. Be sure to check with your state on its specific policies regarding felon voting rights. Flowers says the day he makes it to the polls will be a proud day for him and his family, especially his mother, Joanne Oliver. She says her son always knew how vital it was to vote, but his rights were stripped away. I took my child down to the police station and turned him in. And when they put the handcuffs on him, I about lost it. She says he was charged with drug possession, and she turned him in so police wouldn't hurt him when they found him. I was just hoping and praying that his journey, whatever he had to do, would eventually soak in, and praise God it has. I'm so, so proud of him. Oliver says voting has always been important to her, so she made sure she passed that along to her family. And once my children became of age, um, I told them the importance of voting, but like he said, he made his own obstacles, but praise be to God, that is all straightened out now, so it's going to be a rejoicing thing for us to go and cast that vote. She says it's his life decisions that brought him to where he is today. He now owns a gym and a video production business. I'm in such a better place mentally, physically. 47, I don't look, I don't look too bad for old, old, old man. Flower says he hopes his story helps convicted felons learn that one day their voices can be heard. If we're paying tax dollars, putting something into the system, and being productive and providing jobs, we definitely should be able to vote out here in any election. To learn more about Georgia's voting rights for felons, go to the Georgia Justice Project website. That's gjp.org. In Columbus, Georgia, reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Cassandra Burks.